So hello everybody, how are you all? Hope everybody's alright. It's been a while, hasn't it? So I'm going to take the bike off here and I'm going to take the disc off the Neo and we're going to see if there's any dust inside, give it a clean out and check the bearings on the, uh, the disc as well because this being a Neo 2T there's been reports of problems with the bearings failing prematurely so while it's still in warranty I want to check that make sure it's still okay so that if there is a problem I can get it sent back under a warranty claim before it's 12 months old so first step get the bike onto that there so I'm just going to have to move Hold on. we've got a few tools bike off and then I need to put it in the other room, just need to move my stand and give it a clean while it's off as well. Just take a quick release out, put some gloves on actually so I don't get oily hands and I need a piece of scrap paper to put the cassette onto. So, I always put those back on there so I don't lose them. Right, undo that. Now, of course, as I do this, hmm, why doesn't that want to move? Should do. Okay, let's do it a different way. I thought you meant to undo that and the whole thing's meant to slide off. Doesn't want to. I'm not going to do that any tighter. I take the cassette off first. I need my lock ring tool. Chain whip. Spaces. No. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Something not right there. Right, so I've just checked. I've just checked on the instructions, and you should be able to just undo this, and it should. Just come off with a five millimeter Allen key with the free with the cassette as well. So I've just got my better quality Allen key. There we are. So it's just tight. And the other one was starting. I could feel that flexing. Those are just the cheaper ones from Lidl. But what has happened is that has because that was so tight. There we are. So I'll take that off. Because it was so tight it just got stuck a little bit. So I'll just put it back in. And this should come off. So there is some grease in there. And there should be a spacer. Flange on it. Right, 
Next we've got to undo these six bolts around there. So the next bit should be clean, so I'm going to take the gloves off. That's a four. So use two because that will help me brace. So I undo them all. Remove the six bolts. Extract the tool if I can reach it. Three bolts back in. Right, so I'll do it.
stand up from my back a minute. That's nearly off. Come off now, that's fully in. Right, so that's the inside. Have a look at it. A bit of black in there, a bit of dust, a bit of crud. We'll give it a clean. Yeah, so that's the bit with the actual what they call the disc removed. Now, if we come around this way, so in there, there's a bit of dust, black dust. Right, so this big inner bearing, that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that off the outside, the extractor, and check the outer one. I've taken that extractor off the outside, and because these two parts are going to separate, you'll be able to see, if I put it at 12 o'clock, you'll be able to see I've just put a ink mark to line the two parts back up afterwards, just in case, the balance or anything like that. So that's the disc off. When you take the extractor off, it comes apart. And then we've got this part with the bearings. And there's a that's the fan portion. And there's just one little cap head Allen bolt in there holding the fan portion on. If I can get it right, there you go. And then that's the inner bearing in there. which still feels fine. Now to replace the bearings, that, if I can get the light on it, that inner ratchet ring in there has to be unscrewed and then you can get at that bearing to replace it. So I'll just clean it up a little bit, but the bearing is fine. Now, I wonder if any of my tools will fit that ratchet just for future. And that's the right tool. To undo that, that fits in there nicely. So that's a 32mm spanner. And that's a Cyclo S... Hang on, let's see what it says. SBB. It's bottom bracket tool. So it's basically a Shimano, the old UN style bottom bracket tool. Put that back on, just line my marks up. Tool back on. Right, that's ready to go. We're just going to clean up in here as well. There's just a bit of debris there. And we're just going to check the condition of the shaft. That's not debris. Because it doesn't want to come off.
that all looks and feels fine. That's all right, it's good. Okay, so we've got our Maasai grease, a couple of bits of paper towel, kitchen towel, just dry it off. Dry these bits as well. Right, let's put it back on. Then you just undo the bolt. And it should push back in. Before it goes in too much, I'm just going to clean around the edge of the disc. It's loose now. So that's in. Take off my extractor tool. I forgot to take a picture. Never mind. Then put these six returning bolts back in and I'm going to torque them up. Now, I don't know what torque they are, but we can figure it out. Right, so let's just work out what size bolt this is and what material it is. Right, so these are M6 bolts, the 8.8 .8 high tensile steel, plated, and looked it up, max torque for these is 8 newton meters. So we're not going to do it up to that. We'll do it up to about where I think it was before. 
and we'll do it alternately like this. Right, let's get the torque wrench, and set it to four. That's at four. That's at four. That's at four. That's at four. Four. That wasn't at four, right. So it should all be at four now. Yep, it's got to six. And I'm going to leave it at six. I'm not going to go higher than six. So it's just going a little fraction more. Oh yeah, that'll do. So if it says max tor torque is eight, we don't want to go to eight, we want to leave it at six. So next we can put the free hub back on. I'd already put the spacer in that. Lock nut, end cap. Give that clean, wasn't me. Spacers. Then we will put the cassette back on. Because it's on a trainer, it's not a wheel on the floor, so it starts to turn around. Then you need to put your chain whip on, hold it, and then you can just tighten it down. Right, so we're nearly done. Quick release back in. And then while the bike is off, we'll give it a good wipe down everywhere and dust. And then just got to tidy up and put away, haven't I?
there we go that's that done so just given my tax neo 2t smart trainer a service then so just to recap the tools i used i used that's um, an x tools cassette lock ring tool you don't really need that i used a chain whip you might need that i used a set of allen keys and it was specifically a five millimeter in the end and a four millimeter for the six bolts underneath and i used a disc removal tool and a 24 millimeter spanner and of course i used my torque wrench and some grease probably and some grease so that's good so i hope you found that useful the bit that everybody will find useful maybe in the future for tax neo is that's the tool that should fit that lock ring because it's different apparently than the earlier ones so that is a cyclo tool and it's a s-bb it says on it but that is the, the tool to fit shimano un72 the old cartridge type bottom brackets not the current ones the old type when they were square taper so and it might fit the octolink ones as well actually i think it does fit the octolink ones as well so thanks for watching hope you find that useful see you in the next vlog take care of everybody please do give us a like if you're not already subscribed please do subscribe there will be more coming shortly